So hi everyone, this is Jay, your instructor for microprocessor and the interfacing. So what is microprocessor? But wait, before going to see what is microprocessor, let me ask you two simple questions. The first question is that, do you know where microprocessor is used? And the second question is that, do you know how does it look? So you may know or you may not, but we all are surrounded by the systems that include a microprocessor in it. For example, if you are driving your bike to your college, that bike has a digital odometer. In that odometer, you can see different information such as you can see the average, you can see the fuel indicator, you can see the speed and you can also see whether the indicator is turned on or off. It means that your bike contains a microprocessor in it. Suppose you are driving a car, then car is equipped with so many sensors. It is having parking camera sensor, it is having different sensors, it is having touchscreen display and it is also having digital odometer. Nowadays you can control your car using a smartphone. It means that your car is equipped with so many sensors and technology yet your car contains a microprocessor in it. Now you have reached to the college and now you have to go to the fifth floor of your engineering building. And for that, you're using the lift. When you press the button, lift arrives at your floor and it takes you to the floor that you want to go. It means that the lift contains a microprocessor in it because it can read different inputs from the switch and it can do some task based on the information you have provided. Now you have reached to your classroom and now you have to use laptop uh, for your lecture. Now you know that your laptop contains a microprocessor in it. So like I said, we all are surrounded by system that includes a microprocessor in it. From the small drone to large rockets, it contains a microprocessor to do some task. But the second question still remains that is how a microprocessor looks like right so let's see how a microprocessor look to see a microprocessor what you can do is that you can open your phone and inside a phone you can see the microprocessor now i do not suggest you to literally open your phone but when if you open your phone that in the phone you will see a black chip on that some brand name is written and that black chip is a microprocessor. Now inside a laptop, if you open it, again, I don't recommend, but if you open your laptop, inside that laptop, you will see some chip, which is having some brand name written, and that chip is known as microprocessor. There are different brands of microprocessors are there. For example, there is Intel, there is ARM, Snapdragon, AMD, etc. Right? So these are the microprocessors so till now what we know is that the microprocessor it is nothing but a black chip on which some brand name is written so you can see on the screen it is a intel microprocessor but still we don't know what is inside of that microprocessor if you see literally inside of the microprocessor you will see that there is billions of transistors which are connected all together but by seeing inside of microprocessor we are not going to understand that how it functions and what are different blocks are there so basically if you see any microprocessor in the world uh, it contains mainly three blocks the first block it is known as the alu alu means the arithmetic and logical unit so using this arithmetic and logical unit block, the processor can do all arithmetic and logical functions. What are the arithmetic and logical functions? So it can, using this block, it can perform some addition, subtraction that are arithmetic functions. Then it can perform some logical functions such as AND, OR, XOR, etc. The next block is the control unit. 
the function of the control unit is to control different block within a microprocessor and using the control unit the processor also generates different control signals and the last block is the register now what is registers register is the small amount of memory which is present inside a microprocessor on the board so whenever processor wants to store any data temporary or it has to load data temporary or it has to load data quickly in that case it will use the register because processor will not reach every time to external memory because it will take some time right so these three blocks is present in any microprocessor in the world and these are the three main blocks which is alu control unit and the registers now let's see the microprocessor system we are going to understand this microprocessor system using this raspberry pi computer so uh, the main and the first component in the microprocessor system is microprocessor itself then it is having different blocks such as input and the output devices and the memory the next block in the microprocessor system is the memory and on the raspberry pi you can also see that the memory is present then there are some input and the output devices on the raspberry pi computer the first thing that you can see is the audio jack which acts as a input device then there is a lan port which acts as a both input and the output device then there is usb port uh, which is also used for sending and receiving data so it is input and output device again the second usb port is present and the function is same then there is a hdmi port which acts as a output device and the last one is the camera interface and by using this interface you can connect the camera and it is acting as the input device now the processor is having different devices such as memory and the input output devices but this uh, processor and the input output devices are connected via something because processor has to send and receive data to its internal components these components are the internal components of the microprocessor to send and receive there should be something which is connected to processor and these devices and to connect this microprocessor with its input and output and the memory the bus is required you can see that on the raspberry pi board the parallel lines are bus and using this parallel line processor can send and receive data with its different components you can see in the block diagram there is a clock or the heartbeat now what is this clock so uh, the microprocessor in the computer is having some frequency if you know in your laptop the microprocessor is working on particular frequency for example 3.7 gigahertz or 3 gigahertz or 2.5 gigahertz so what is the meaning of this 2.7 gigahertz 2.7 gigahertz means that the processor which is present in the laptop is working at particular frequency so to do some calculation the processor requires frequency as a reference and the frequency generator and this frequency is generated by a device which is known as clock or crystal and you can see on the raspberry pi board the clock is there now let's see what are the types of the bus which is there in the microprocessor generally there are three types of bus the address bus data bus and the control bus for specifically microprocessor 8085 the size of the address bus is 16 bit what is the function of address bus using the address bus the processor will send address of memory or input output device that's it and using the address bus you can get the information that how much memory you can interface so right now for the 8085 the size of the address bus is 16 bit so you can interface 2 raised to 16 that is 64k memory the next bus is the data bus and for the 8085 the size of the data bus is 8 bit you can see that the data bus 
is having error at its both side it means data bus is bidirectional and because the size of the data bus is 8 bit the microprocessor 885 can send and receive 8 bit of data at a time the last bus is known as the the last bus is known as the control bus and using the control bus the processor will send different control signals and the combination of the address bus data bus and the control bus together is known as the system bus and this is it for the microprocessor system and this is it for this session if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much